Marae DIY is a show that has been uniting whānau and renovating marae for 14 years. Each whānau has four days to work together along with some skilled tradies to give their marae that makeover it requires. It is such a great insight into marae and the culture and values behind them. David Clayton Green, also known as DCG, has been the resident landscaper on the show since its inception and he joins us now. Welcome David. Kia ora Mel. Good, Braden. Kia really on. nice to have you here. God, 14 years. Congrats. And Telly that, that's, that's amazing. And Telly Land, that's incredible. Uh, is it true that when you first started the show, you'd actually never stepped foot on a marae before? Correct. Really? Yeah. How on earth did that come about? Um, well, I don't know. Somebody, the producer, rang me and said, We're doing a show called, it was in Mitre 10, Marae DIY. We need a landscaper. Do you want to be involved? I burst out laughing, thought it was a joke. <laughs> um, and that started the journey. And um, that basically was on a Thursday, and on the Monday I went to Rotorua, and we hopped in a car, and four of us drove right round the whole of the North Island, visiting three marae a day, and that was my first time I'd ever been on a marae. Wow. And I, I said on the way to the first marae, I said, I don't know whether it's important, I've never been on a marae before, and um, Mike just said to me, it's okay, Bray, we'll... Just we'll sort in. you out. Yep. Mm. I'm curious about that because I, I know for a lot of Pākehā people stepping on a marae, it, you know, there are protocol and stuff like that. Were you welcomed very warmly initially or did that take time? Did you have to build trust? Um, the love that I experienced in that journey never ever died. That was why I stayed. I mean, I never ever felt um, a stranger. And that's pretty. That, that that was pretty special, you know. Mm. Um, it was it was an amazing opening to another world. And it must be something pretty special to stay for 14 years. Mm. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen the show, let's take a look at this clip. Marae DIY has travelled thousands of miles, seen thousands of smiles, and affected hundreds of communities. Let's go, team. Let's hit it, eh? And now we're on our way to our 100th renovation. Three, we're getting old. Yeah. Boom. I've never tried doing anything like this. <laughs> Shot. It will be a Marae DIY like no other. You know, <laughs> yeah, I know. Whaka piri piri mai, whaka ta 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 mai. Ah, it looks very, very cool indeed. Now, you've been on it from the start along with host Te Ore. I guess you guys have built a bit of a bond over that time as well. What's that like? Yeah, it's awesome. The whole curve built a bond. I mean, we've been together a long time. We've all grown up. Uh, we know a lot about each other. It's a bit like we, we're our own whānau. Mm. Um, so we're all like brothers, sisters, and I'm the grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, one, what's the one, if you think about because you're coming out to your 100th reno, aren't you? Yeah. What's the one that maybe stands out in your mind the most? It's really hard to answer that. Mm. There's probably three. Kaifaiki and Whanganui, that was one. Uh, Mangapohatu in the middle of Te Tiurawera, that was another. And the other one would be, for me, was um, the Party Māori Club. And why were they so special? Um, the location, the people, the wairua, uh, it was just... Uh, it was just magic, yeah. Would it be fair to say a marae is not just the buildings, it's the stories that have come before that moment that you walk onto a marae, it is the family stories within that, it is the people around there, um, it is perhaps the way that the buildings have or, or the marae itself has grown over the years. So I guess there's a whole lot of rich history with each place you go. Absolutely. And I mean there's a saying called he tangata, he tangata, he tangata, the people, the people, the people. And buildings are nothing. It's what happens in the buildings. So the show has survived and endured because of the people. Mm -hmm. That's what the magic is. That's the gem. It's, it's not DIY. DIY is boring. You know? <laughs> uh, it really is. Don't say that. A hundred shows around New Zealand and they're going, oh, you can't no, say that. No, you've got, you've got to put it in context. It's, don't think of it as a hundred shows. It's bought nearly 20,000 whānau home. Mm. Mm. You know, if you were to say 200 whānau every DIY, 100 DIY, you look at how many whānau have come home. And that is the magic. That's what's so lovely. And you're, you're uniting the elders and the youngsters together to, to work on a project, aren't you? Absolutely. Generations right the way through. Um, yeah. Are there any youngsters that have never stepped foot in a marae before, even though it may be their marae? There's a lot of people, and I wouldn't know whether it's just youngsters, but a lot of, a lot of whānau had 
for a lot of them not gone back home for a long time. They didn't know that the person sitting beside them in the having kai was a relative. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of issues there for them to come home. Normally a lot of, lot of people, a lot of whanau only go home for tangi. So mm. it's quite sad. Mm. So to come home and be part of something where everyone's involved, everyone, and all you do is laugh and joke with your brothers, your cousins, your uncles, it's cool. Did you set out to do that? To create that bond, to bring people together? I didn't set out to create anything. I was no. an interloper. <laughs> <laughs> Get about to do some landscaping. That's um, what you set out to do. <laughs> the show evolved. The show was a dream. It was an idea. And like any ideas, it evolves, the, it, it gets format, it gets put together, it has structure. But we have never ever lost sight of the cop opera of the show, which was about the people, bringing people home. And that is what, what the show is about. That's awesome. Hey, well, thanks for that insight today, DCG. Marae DIY screens at 12.30 on Saturday on 3. And don't forget, you can check out any episodes that you've missed on 3 now.